Hi, class. Um, it is Blake Allard coming at you with the last discussion of the class. Um, before I begin today, I just want to say thank you for everyone that commented on any of past uh, the past discussions who, um, you know, engaged in conversation with me. I just want to say thank you. You made my first semester here um, quite enjoyable. So I just want to say thank you um, and good luck to you guys in your future endeavors. So let's jump into it. My research project is going to be about how America's founders were influenced by early church reformers. Um, the, it will begin with a brief overview of how American presidents have been tied to religion, specifically Christianity. This will be exampled by president's statements about America and religion. Um, after a brief overview of religion in American politics, the topic will expand into a discussion of early church reformers and how they influenced America's founders. I will specifically focus on Thomas Jefferson and James Madison, but may mention other American founders. Um, I, I want to say that I'll focus on Thomas Jefferson and James Madison, but I probably will talk about a larger group of um, American founders. So I will begin by focusing on each of the founders' experiences with religion and then how they were politically influenced by religion. And finally, I will discuss major themes in American politics that are based in Christianity. Um, to give you kind of an example of, of what you, you may witness in my research paper is quotes like this. George Washington stated, while we are zealously performing the duties of good citizens and soldiers, we certainly ought not to be inattentive to the higher duties of religion. To the distinguished character of patriot, it should be our highest glory to add the more distinguished character of Christianity. So in other words, what George Washington is saying is he's saying America should have the morality of a Christian. Um, and that is when America will excel is whenever they can be moral, like a Christian. Our second president, John Adams, he had this to, to say. He said, suppose a nation in some distant region should take the Bible for their only law book and every member should regulate his conduct by the precepts there exhibited. Every member would be obliged in conscience to temperance, frugality, and industry, to justice, kindness, and charity towards his fellow men, and to piety, love, and reverence toward Almighty God. What a utopia, what a paradise would this region be? In other words, what Adams was saying is he's saying, if America could learn to become as the Bible wants us to become, if America could follow what the Bible had to say and could become moral, then America would be a utopia. It would be a paradise. It would be a new Eden. Okay. And so we see that Adams is trying to push for a Christian nation. More specifically, we see the bias that Adam, Adams has. And so what you'll see in the research paper is how did that influence his uh, influence in American political documents? So how did his bias shine through in American political documents? The third president, Thomas Jefferson, he wrote, God who gave us life, gave us liberty, and can the liberties of a nation be thought secure when we have removed their only firm basis? A conviction in the minds of the people that these liberties are the gifts of God, that they are not to be violated, but with his wrath. Indeed, I tremble for my country when I reflect that God is just and that his justice cannot sleep forever. Whenever I think of this quote, I think of the scripture that says the nation that forgets God will be turned into hell. And so... You can see Thomas Jefferson is worried that if America was to lose the morality of Christianity, then America could be headed towards a certain doom. Um, and so we see, even though Thomas Jefferson isn't very much religious himself, he is definitely influenced by religion, and that shines through um, in statements like this. So how much more would that shine through in his bias um, when contributing to American political documents. And last but not least, I want to share with you my thesis. This is the working thesis, but I'm pretty sure this is, this is it. 
The founders of America were greatly influenced by religious reformers from colonial America, so much so that religious themes were embedded into several American political documents. So a couple of things I want the reader to understand the bias that these founders had when writing the American political documents. And I want to show how religion and how religious reformers played a role in influencing the creation of America. Um, how did they make men like George Washington, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson feel compelled to make the United States a Christian nation? So again, I want to say thank you for everyone who's contributed to discussions in the past and for who will contribute to this particular discussion. I wish you guys the best of luck and uh, I hope to have future classes with you guys. Have a good one, everyone.